I've been meaning to build a very nice home theater for a while and recently I decided to purchase a new projector, hang up a new screen and complete that project. Hey guys, welcome back to the Hardware Sense channel. My name is Ivan and today we are looking at the GM GO 01. This is the cheapest projector of the lineup of the GM GO and I went ahead and purchased this one by myself uh, from Amazon. Unfortunately, GM GO was not even kind enough to reply to my emails asking for a review sample so I had to go ahead and purchase one by myself just like all of you will do and of course I will give you my experience with this projector the unboxing, the setup, the details, and of course at the end we're gonna talk about it in the conclusion. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead straight into the unboxing. I'm gonna show you what's inside the box, how they packed this projector, and of course I'm gonna show you in details, setting it up with my screen in my place. Uh, I'm gonna go through the menus, I'm gonna go through uh, the different options and settings, and you guys are gonna see how it looks. Currently, this one is retailing on Amazon for around $750. I think the original release price was $699. Um, with things going around, I think it became a little bit more expensive. So $650 right now on Amazon. This is the cheapest one in their lineup. That is ultra short throw projector. Of course, in my specific situation, I wanted to get an ultra short throw projector because I didn't want to drill any holes on the ceiling. I didn't want to mount a regular projector on the ceiling, run cables, uh, do all that stuff. That would have been a big, big project uh, for a long time and would have cost me a lot more money than spending the money for ultra short throw a projector and just putting it in front of the screen. And this is one of the biggest benefits of these projectors. With the spacing in the environment, you can work in a much shorter and smaller spaces. Uh, yes, you're getting up to a 100 inch screen, which in my personal situation is plenty big and is definitely a lot bigger than my 60 inch plasma TV that this projector is replacing. Uh, so yeah, let me go ahead with the unboxing right away. And then of course, I'm gonna talk to you about it and my experience at the end in the conclusion. So this is uh, some of the most protective packaging I've ever seen. That's why I wanted to show it to you guys real quick. Uh, before I pull the actual box, the GM GO 01 projector out. This is the box they are shipping the projector and you'll see double layered uh, sides, super thick uh, cardboard and extra protection inside in these inserts. So if you take it out of the box, uh, you will see how they slide in, kind of like uh, the foam in many uh, other boxes if you've seen. Uh, but these are made out of paper, recycled, which is good, uh, protecting the environment and the presentation here is incredible i have to say the box is very luxurious very protective sturdy uh, speaks quality we have the branding right here gm go created co-created with din audio uh, a little image of the projector how it looks in the front the wonder wall and some information about the company on the other side the whole top lid is hel held by magnets if i open it you will see right here we have a little transparent plastic with the branding again. <clears throat> and right on top, we have the menu on different languages. By the way, you can see English, German, French, Spanish, Chinese, Mandarin, and Taiwanese, I believe. Very detailed, very nice, well-printed user menu that if you can follow, you'll be uh, good to go. Again, extra foam inside protecting the projector. And you see how compact it is. But before I pull it out of the box, let's see what's inside this accessories. Uh, box so here they're showing a uh, power supply remote control and batteries but i don't believe that this one comes with batteries at least that's not what the package was saying and it slides out very nice we have the power supply which is by the way international so you can take that anywhere in the world delivering 90 watts so 90 watts 110 to 240 uh, volts and it is barrel style power brick we have regular mickey mouse style cable which is great because if you can take this uh, anywhere outside the world you can easily get a different cable uh, european style or australian style or uk style and just replace that and on the last compartment here we have the white remote control for uh, the volume and we have some of the um, regular options we are familiar with uh, Android. Of course, the, their own OS is called Luna, but it's based on Android. So we're gonna see how that looks as well. Let me put that back in the box and project it real quick. And here it is packed in this plastic. This is how the top looks. 
we have the power button right here and some of the functions you can see the laser and the two sensors on the side and uh, this is uh, if you reach or there's like a object it will automatically dim the light so it won't blind you interesting very very good abs plastic on the front and here on the back is all aluminum this is all metal uh, interesting design i really like it we have some speakers on both sides and ventilation points right here quick look on the bottom nice rubber feet and in the middle we have the thread for projector stand or you can hang it on the ceiling but being ultra short throw projector uh, i'm personally going to be using it as the way it's intended it's going to be sitting right in front of the screen and at the back starting from here is the rj45 for lan we have optical out we have two usb3 ports and we have two hdmis one of the one of them is arc and the last one is the power so yeah again we have some ventilation points here and i'm really excited this is going to be kind of like my first uh, ultra short throw uh, projector setup I, I just installed my 100 inch uh, projector screen uh, so all the tests we're going to be doing just like they're meant to be done and you guys are going to see what kind of performance we can get from this projector uh, obviously as many times before i've mentioned on my project other projector reviews uh, ideally i'm going to be just outputting the signal to it i'm not going to be using the os because i have nvidia shield and this one is absolutely perfect for all my media needs but of course we're going to go over the os and the options of that gm go are providing with this projector uh, very exciting so yeah that's pretty much for the unboxing let's go ahead and check it out right now so let me show you first my current physical setup for the projector you see it sitting right on top of the stand that my tv used to be and on the right side is the xbox series x on the left side is my center speaker which uh, it used to be on the shelf right where the screen is but i had to take it down and now i need to figure it out a way to put it in a position where it's more centered uh, but that's that's not an issue I'll, i can figure that that out later uh, here's the projector right here right on top the distance between the projector and the wall it's about 37 38 centimeters uh, i'm talking about this distance right here between uh the front of the projector and the screen itself so for this specific distance you're good up to a hundred uh, inch screen and i would not go above a hundred inch because uh as the picture uh, becomes a little bit more grainy and they're recommending 100 to 80 inch screens and this one i have it's frame screen so very very nice no wrinkles whatsoever here how the projector looks uh, on this side these are the connections on the back i have the rj45 network connected i have the hdmi coming from my receiver and the power outlet is right there so this is all i need and inside here of the cabinet of course i have my receiver right in the middle and the shield uh, tv sits right there on the top shelf uh, all their xboxes in the bottom obviously uh, but yeah this is the physical setup and uh, let me show you how it starts and everything so once you have uh, everything powered in the remote of course just press the middle button and the starting time is about five seconds literally super fast i'm gonna uh, tone down the lights of course so you guys can see how the screen looks so in a completely dark room you can probably guess that the camera will not pick up uh, all the details but this is in a completely dark room right there this is the main screen obviously the one that it's currently showing this is from the nvidia shield uh, device uh, that is currently connected to my hdmi 2 and let's go over the me menus real quick so at the bottom we have settings file eshare gm go and app store these are all the options right here if you go to settings first first one is the network in bluetooth uh, this is where uh, obviously all, all your network connections are going to be managed we have the source signal which is local hdmi 1 hdmi 2 hdmi cc from for some reason for me is not working correctly i just want to emphasize that i used to be able to operate my tv my receiver and my nvidia shield with only the nvidia shield remote now this is not happening here for some reason i have to figure it out what the issue is uh, of course here we have color range automatic and the other options here i keep, keep it on automatic startup source you can have by default local or you can have any of the hdmis audio settings here we have boot audio key press audio aspect diff delay this is if you're exporting through the optical out through the receiver to kind of uh, offset the delay audio output is local device and audio mode is cinema so local device is here we have pcm you have raw and we have bypass 
for the SP diff and the options on the audio mode are cinema, music, standard and sports. Projection settings, we have auto keystone correction, which I have enabled. We have brightness, which I have on the highest brightness possible. Low blue light, it's off with me. Auto keystone correction, I've turned that off. I use the manual correction and intelligent image flattering. This is only for walls if you're displaying on a wall, but I have a screen with a, a perfect flat surface, so no, ne no needed here. Digital zoom, I keep it at 100. Autofocus is on and autofocus uh, calibration. Projecting mode is frontal. Of course, you, have, you can have this projector mounted on the ceiling or uh, rear or front ceiling, rear ceiling, whichever way you want. I keep it in the front just the way it's been intended to. Video settings, 3D mode is off, image mode is standard, image noise reduction, I have it at off, keep it off that way, you're not going to have any uh, post processing or stuff like that. Low latency mode, this is only enabled when you're switching to HDMI and when it's at HDMI, it gets enabled automatically. Motion compensation is high, HDR is automatic, of course if you have HDR source, that's going to output HDR. Color temperature is standard, wall color calibration, I don't need that because I have a screen. And advanced settings, ha fan, keep it on automatic, uh, full fan, it's going to be a little bit noisy, um, not as noisy as I was expecting, but still noisier than automatic and automatic is just fine. Indicated control, the LED on top is uh, lighting up or off. Timer shutdown disabled, companion mode 15 minutes. And then system settings here, we have language, time zone, keyboard, update version. I already updated to the latest. There's no newer version and the latest is 1052. It's about, it tells you the system version, software, everything else, Mac addresses. Uh, so storage, we are currently having 8.72 out of 16 gigabytes and i've only installed plex nothing else and memory information we have 1.13 gigabytes uh, occupied by, uh, from 3 gigabytes so 3 gigabytes is the total so that's about it in file here you can play local files or LAN share uh, of course i'm doing everything through my nvidia shield so uh, none of these settings are really relative uh, for me. eShare is uh, an option for you to share from your phone, uh, just for the QR code and stuff like that. GMGo, this is the connection through uh, their own app, and this way you can uh, uh, cast directly to the projector. And finally, the App Store, where you can download games, music, and all that stuff. And like I mentioned, I only installed Plex for my local Plex server and there's tons of other apps like Netflix, Prime Video, and all that stuff. But just again, keep in mind, the Netflix Prime Video will be only standard definition because we're lacking white uh, Vine level one here. So having an external streaming device like myself with the NVIDIA Shield, it's ideal. And when I go to the home here, I can select the main screen and it will lead me in directly to my uh, NVIDIA Shield interface. And from here I can control and watch everything I want through the NVIDIA Shield, all the movies, everything else. And trust me, when it's completely dark, the screen looks absolutely amazing with uh, no problem whatsoever. Again, for the price, I think this uh, projector is absolutely amazing. I can't emphasize that enough. Hopefully it'll last me for a while before I have to replace it. And the price uh, fit perfectly my needs for uh, watching a movie every once in a while or playing a game every once in a while. I'm not spending too much time in the basement here, but whenever I want to do it, uh, I can do it no problem. So yeah, from here, again, if you want to go back home, just press the home button on the a white remote, or that's the remote of the projector, and there you go. Uh, again, by default, I'm keeping it on HDMI 2 or this is where my external device is plugged in. Uh, that way I can go right in and start watching, streaming my favorite TV shows and movies and all that stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's super nice. All right, that's pretty much it guys. Uh, big thumbs up for this projector. Let's go ahead uh, right into the conclusion. All right, conclusion time. And what do I think about the GM GO 01? I think for the price, you guys are gonna have a hard time finding anything better, uh, especially at the price at the moment. Like I mentioned, $750 on Amazon. Obviously, this price and for this specific unit matches my personal setup. And you gotta think about the perspective of how your setup is at home. Is it a completely dark room like myself in the basement? Or you're gonna have some light destructions from the side, from windows and stuff like that. Uh, then you might have to consider uh, getting the upgraded model, the Pro, which is uh, upping twice the lumens. Here we have 800 lumens and the Pro model has 1600. 
of course if you have more money and if your budget is allowing it you can get even the higher model that is up to 3000 lumens and this one is 4k and obviously it's going to look a lot better but this one and the pro are 1080p which in my particular situation is plenty good and for the budget it fits uh, perfectly again the biggest difference between this one and the pro is that that lumen output 800 versus 1600 and now i don't personally own a projector that's above this 800 lumens but in my super dark environment in the basement the 800 is plenty bright and i already watched a couple of movies like uh, the latest uh, spider-man and a couple other ones and they look fantastic on that 100 inch screen that frame screen that i just put up the setup is extremely easy you just put it in front of the screen kind of measure the distance and uh, off you go the automatic keystone is fine but i prefer to do the menu i think the menu was perfect i was able to uh, match the corners of the screen ideally uh, without any bleeds or anything like that and the screen and the picture looks fantastic you have two hdmis you have two usbs you have optical out so there's a lot of options in the back if you want to kind of use it directly the noise is very minimal the fan you will not even hear trust me if you're watching movies with a nice uh sound setup like myself and the fan is turned on automatic you're never gonna hear it uh, i personally don't hear it at all it's very very silent and of course the os the luna os that, that is based on android it's nice and simple which i really like and i have to say even gaming the latency is not bad at least to my eyes i don't actually have anything to measure exactly how much the latency is but the projector has a low latency option into the menus so when you switch to the hdmi if you're playing games you're not gonna feel uh, like there's a lot of lag there's no lag in the sound when i watch movies everything is displayed nice and smoothly so so far i'm pretty pleased for the price this projector is really outstanding and of course if i have an option in the future to check some of the other models that would be great now if you're relying on the built-in sound the built-in sound is very good i'm not gonna lie to you it's excellent but nothing compared to of course my uh, 5 plus 2 uh, high powered uh, speakers so then audio sound is nice uh, but if you don't have any other option obviously that's an option for you to use and watch movies that way another thing to mention there is white no white vine level one on this projector so if you're watching netflix uh, amazon prime or other streaming services directly from here uh, you're only stuck on standard definition so that's another reason for me to use my external nvidia shield and output everything because it outputs 4k signal and then it gets uh, down sampled by the projector to 1080p and it looks great i have no complaints about uh, how everything looks so yeah long story short i really like this projector i think for the price you're gonna have a hard time or an impossible time to find an ultra short throw projector that you can use uh, and create uh, this kind of a setup like myself and yeah that's about it guys hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new check out the link in the description below if you want to support the channel directly it helps me tremendously to bring you videos like this and as always guys you have a wonderful day